From fighter jets, armored vehicles, missiles, ammunition, and even drones, Daniel has it all. And orders are coming in thick and fast. The state-owned arms manufacturer says it secured orders totaling 22 billion rand. That will keep it busy for the next 10 years. We are working with the United Arab Emirates, for example. We've worked with uh, Malaysia. We work with El, uh, Ecuador. Uh, so, you know, there are many in, in Africa, for example. We work a lot with the United Nations, a lot with the African Union, with SADC uh, in peace support operations. A 34% jump in exports was the main contributor to the 30 million rand increase in Denel's annual profit. The South African National Defence Force should be Denel's top client, but it's not placing enough orders, and government is concerned. We are engaging the department, the Minister of Defence and Military Veterans, to ensure that the National Defence Force becomes the, 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 the anchor support base for Denel. And, and, and through the capabilities that we will supply it with, we, we can showcase the, the, the company's capabilities to, to the international market. Daniel is currently spending about half a billion rand a year on researching and developing new sophisticated weapons in order to remain competitive and lay a foundation for future growth. Mbongeni Mutua, SABC News, Pretoria.